Happy th Thursdays. It has been... A productive, epic one. It's interesting, you know, after... See, how many days, how many weeks now? Between two and three weeks now of... Consistently... Taking in value, taking action. I like to consider it massive action. When you can take consistent action on a, uh, consistent little steps every day, I think that's taking massive action over a period of time. And uh, I think that's pretty tremendous. Uh, it's a tremendous experience which we're all choosing to experience you know if we do this take on that challenge that's why I'm really loving this 90 day challenge with all you guys myself it's, it's really myself I'm just glad to be in it with all you guys I truly am I'm I forget exactly what I'm gonna be dropping in I, I just left Spokane Washington and I'm going into Southern California, Ontario, but I'm going to make a stop this weekend, probably tomorrow afternoon-ish, in the lovely Sin City of the World. I think it's kind of interesting how it's even called, or it's considered or viewed as the City of Sin, Las Vegas, Nevada. People get beside themselves, supposedly. That's the place where it's almost as if it's accepted to get beside yourself and sin a little bit, if you will. Which brings up like a really, really, you know, or I should say Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. The amount of choices that you have available to you there have played a monstrous impact on my life, my upbringing. And the reason why I say that is because of my, my, my parents. My mother and father were heavy gamblers. I recall actually being in Vegas, I don't know, every two or three months. I was probably in Vegas, walking around the casinos, playing in the arcades, swimming pool, all that stuff. But being very observant of what the heck is going on on it. And not just not just the casinos or Vegas, Laughlin, Reno, all the <laughs> all the horse tracks. I'm sure awesome playgrounds. <laughs> they were awesome playgrounds, I can tell you that. Very, very awesome playgrounds. However, being thirsty on this lovely Thursday, I actually recalled some of the, uh, my perspective back then. I was having fun, but at the same time, I was being observant and being thirsty, if you will. Like, what the heck is this? Curious. What's going on? I, I, I should say that Sin City or the lifestyle of that of being a gambler or whatnot has definitely played a monster, a, a monster role in my life. Uh, I've experienced personally some pain from the choices and actions of others and along the way yeah learning channeling that that pain into some kind of research or understanding or what the heck. I can say I've definitely gambled like actually at card, you know, playing cards at the table with uh, slots, yeah, I've had slots, craps, roulette, um, sporting games. But I learned at a very, very young age that it is not for me. I burned myself enough times at a young age that I know it's not for me. And I, I realized it's a whole something about me is that 
You know, I am a risk taker. I am a gambler. What I needed to do is learn how to channel that eagerness, that taste, as these, a lot of the uh, marketing radio shows, whatever, billboards like to relate it to as far as like being a taste, being a, a chemical release, having that itch. <laughs> I remember almost two years ago, one of my cousins, who's my one of my dear cousins, I love her very much, she actually threw out there, and I didn't accept, she threw out a statement and I didn't accept it. That it's in our blood. If I was smarter, I would have I would have accepted the way I accept it now. Like, yeah, you know what? I am a gambler. I since I've already seen the results, the results are already out as far as gambling in regards to that life, that type of lifestyle. You know that it's an inevitable crash. Yeah, you have your little highs, woo, 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 but that's what actually brings you back or keeps you coming, like a drug, if you will. That's what they related to. All the Gambling is like a drug. <laughs> Going over, you know, some of my setup with my autoresponders and whatnot. You know, seeing how powerful this system is just really I like where I've thrown my money. I like where I've put my odds. And I hope you guys do as well. I mean we are risk takers, we are gamblers, if you will. The odds are completely in our favor, though. <laughs> and not just that, we're gambling to improve the quality of not just our lives, but the lives around us, society. Truly give value in some form. Whether it's on a small scale, if those are your goals, that's your, that's your personality, that's what you want to do. Or on a large scale, if you're a little bit more, uh, I, I Yes, aspire, uh, am, uh, ambitious. Regardless, we are risking our lives, our time, our finances, our hard earned money, and we're investing. We're gambling on a quality investment coming back to us if we t make the choices to take the proper action, the proper choice on a day to day basis. Very easily, knowing that it's. <laughs> A really interesting weekend in Sin City. <laughs> Halloween weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna put on my a different costume this 2014 Halloween 2014, and it's gonna be my poker face, my digital poker face. guys updated in regards to this and it's going to be evident how I choose to use my time will be evident because this is what the challenge this is what the accountability is all about what are we doing on a day-to-day -day basis and not just for you guys but for ourselves like when we when we do this, things like such we record our lives we record our progress we record you know how we're feeling you get a pretty strong indicator as far as what we're actually doing with our time and what it is that we value. When we, we get to watch our own videos, it's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I love it. This is an amazing high. It's a, it's a high that I've never felt in my whole life. <laughs> What's interesting is I got a, <laughs> I got a nice little blanket. It's my dad's blanket. I actually got it in memory. I I take it I taking it with me in memory of my father. On one side, it's a nice fleece blanket. It keeps you nice and cozy, nice and warm. On one side, it's completely red, which I love. You know, it's love or yeah, I love. Red reminds me of love, passion, desire, burn. That's what the, the things 
dad would call whenever I think about red, which I, I think it's, uh, those are all attributes that entrepreneurs possess. <laughs> the other side of the fleece blanket is actually some cards, like poker cards. You can see all the kings, queens, diamonds, this and that, whatever. call it the gambler's blanket <laughs> the cozy gambler and I am definitely feeling cozy knowing where I'm gambling where you guys are gambling <laughs> I enjoy our pit bosses because they are definitely setting us up for success putting the odds in our favor and with that said that's my thirsty Thursday I hope you guys have had an amazing week so far you guys a great day and I look forward to doing another video tomorrow and with that said I am out I'll be checking in probably from a sinful state love you